Oh, shit. I think we've been busted. Um, it's been a great two, 200 years, um, but this girl from, uh, I think it was Norway, called Shelley Florid, has busted us. Um, apparently, apparently 200 years ago, the British, when trying to thin out the population, put about 200,000 um, people onto boats as convicts and sent them to Australia, executing them on the way. And there were no colonies formed. Well, I think we've been busted. Yes, look, it was easy to fake Australia in the early days. All you had to do was send off a few sketches, a few, a few, uh, a few letters here and there, send it back to the old country, and it was fine. It was absolutely fine and dandy. That was no problem. Most of their relatives were illiterate anyway. Then, in the 18th century came photographs. So photographs, oh no, that's going to be easy. That's going to be easy. Uh, we'll make up some stories. Uh, you know, make. You know, uh, get some little scale models around and uh, oh, we'll invent bush rangers. And the most famous one will be a guy with a bucket on his head so you can't recognise him. It'll be great. So, gets to the, uh, gets to the uh, 1920s, 1930s film. Again, no problem at all. Uh, most of the, most of the um, cinema comes from America anyway. Nobody's going to want to see films about Australia. Then, you know, they... They start, they start, you know, uh, making some uh, sets, making some stage sets and, and uh, back lots in, in New Mexico, Utah, uh, a bit of, uh, bit of Baja, California, and Spain when it's not fascist. Anyway, so they, they shoot those things in those, high, those places, some, some tropical islands for the, the stuff set in Queensland. Anyway, then what happens? <sighs> Australia gets the Olympics. I mean, nobody could afford to set them yet because it was just after the war. So they just set the Olympics in Melbourne, Australia. That went fine. All they had to do was stage some events in uh, the Helsinki, uh, in the Helsinki uh, venues and everything was absolutely fine and dandy. It was no problem at all. Uh, then came the Sydney Olympics. The Helsinki slash Melbourne Olympics weren't televised internationally, so that was no problem at all. We could just, you know, put some newsreels together, absolutely no problem, uh, but the Sydney Olympics, oh, that was when they, uh, they put together some 3D models of an entire city. That's why they, uh, set the Matri they uh, filmed The Matrix in Sydney because um, they already had the digital sets. All they had to do was get uh, a more convincing uh, looking Keanu Reeves and, um, and that, that guy who isn't, uh, that, oh, what's his name? Uh, Lawrence Fishburne. The, yeah, the guy who wasn't in, no, he was in Pulp Fiction. No, he wasn't, Samuel L. Jackson. The guy who wasn't Samuel L. Jackson, right. So, and, and, um, and put them in front of uh, digital uh, green screens and everything was fine then too. And then glitches happened in Sydney. You know, there used to be a monorail there. There used to be a monorail, but a digital glitch just wiped it out. And what did we do? Uh, we didn't like demolish it or anything. It's just not there anymore. It's, they, they just ignore that it ever happened. Just like, you know, on The Simpsons. And, um, here we are today. Um, hundreds of thousands of people executed, including, including, you know, some of my own ancestors. They're just gone. They, they were just killed before arriving here. And, um, and I'm just left to, um, I don't know. Straight the set, I suppose, because we're being busted. There's nothing left for me here. All right. Well, I suppose I'm off.